Carlos Alcaraz suffers shock defeat. Carlos Alcaraz suffered a shocking defeat in the second round of the U.S. Open on Thursday, falling to Bodic van de Zandjulp in straight sets. The Dutchman, ranked 74 in the world, down the 21-year-old Spaniard in straight sets, 6-1, 7-5, 6-4 at Arthur Ashe Stadium in Flushing Meadows, New York. The world no three, who in the past two months has won an Olympic silver medal and took home the Wimbledon trophy, struggled out of the gate and was never able to regroup, finishing with 27 unforced errors in total. Van de Zanchulp closed the match with an ace to secure one of the biggest upsets in recent memory, giving him his first win over a top 10 opponent at a major in his career. Bodic van de Zanchulp of the Netherlands plays against Carlos Alcaraz of Spain during the US Open in Flushing, New York, on August 29, 2024. Bodic van de Zanchulp of the Netherlands plays against Carlos Alcaraz of Spain during the US Open in Flushing, New York, on August 29, 2024. Andrew Kelly slash Reuters. The fans gave the victor an ovation after the match, while Alcaraz congratulated him and saluted the crowd before walking off the court. Van de Zanchulp said he was at a loss of words while talking on the ESPN broadcast after the match. It's been an incredible evening here, he said. First time for me, night session at Arthur Ashe. Crowd was amazing. So thank you for that and unbelievable night. Van de Zanchulp added that he had some nerves while trying to close out the match. I think if you want to beat one of these guys, you have to be unbelievably calm and keep your head there, otherwise they take so easy advantage over it. Alcaraz's 15-match unbeaten streak at Grand Slams has come to an end, and Thursday's second-round loss is the earliest in his career at the Slams since Wimbledon in 2021. Van de Zanchulp, who has only advanced past the fourth round in a Grand Slam once in his career, will face British 25th seed Jack Draper in the third round on Saturday.